maybe a bit of background for your listeners uh, about what the yeah. startup does. So it's called the Medical Information Service. Uh, so what it basically does, um, I think uh, maybe a bit of context. In Zimbabwe, you, pharmacies cannot advertise medicines. So they can put up signs and notices that say that they are pharmacies, but they can't say things like, oh, we've got, um, what's, what's the medicine that's known by most people? Um, Wait, paracetamol, anyone can yeah, get. <laughs> yeah, it's right. yeah, they can't say things like, we've got paracetamol here, it costs a uh, dollar for 30 tablets. So they can't do that kind of advertising. And most okay. countries enforce laws that, that, that prohibit the advertising of medicines uh, in the conventional way we see advertising. Um, so the so why, what's the reason, what's the reason for? For that, yes, because, well, medicines are regarded as a special product. Healthcare in general is a special product. It's not your average economic product. So because there's that information asymmetry that people, lay people do not know how to evaluate medical claims, if we yeah. open the door and allow vendors of medicines to advertise like normal consumer goods uh, mm. retailers advertise, it opens the door to predatory practices. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. And so it's a slippery slope and people then an, are unable to evaluate the, the authenticity of, 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 of advertising claims. Uh, the same is true anyway for other for other products, but the consequences of buying a juice that is not as tasty as the packaging says it is are less dire than buying uh, a medicine that doesn't do what it says it does. So, so most most countries just restrict or prohibit the advertising of medicines altogether. So yeah. that is the, the reason. It's, it's, it comes from a public health uh, perspective. So. In a normal health system or, or a well-served health system with decent uh, with a decent supply chain for medicines, that is not a problem because you can reasonably find whatever medicine you're looking for if you walk into any random pharmacy. And in the UK, I know medicine prices are also regulated. So you can pretty much find the same price across many pharmacies for the same medicine. But in Zimbabwe, first of all, prices for medicines are not regulated in that way. So um, a pharmacy will, will be able to charge whatever price that the market will bear. Um, so there's a lot of price variation across pharmacies. Uh, so one, one pharmacy can be selling a product for $9 and another could be selling the same one for $20. Uh, second of all, there's um, the supply chain for medicines in Zimbabwe is, is very dis disrupted. Uh, it's fractured, it's, it's unpredictable. So sometimes we have generalized shortages, even in the private sector of some medicines. So there's probably one or two pharmacies that will have a particular medicine in stock at some point, but because that pharmacy is not allowed to advertise that, a patient will have to find it by accident or by serendipity or by referral. If yeah, it's basically an unsystematic way of finding medicines. And if it's an emergency situation, yeah, a person could actually die while they're waiting to find um, the medicine that they need. So uh, the medical information service, which is uh, the startup that I'm trying to get off the ground, um, sort of helps uh, clients to identify pharmacies that have the medicines that they're looking for in stock. So if you're looking for a particular medicine or a product, you send a query to our contact center and we will quickly, or as quickly as we can anyway, find out which pharmacies in your vicinity have what you're looking for. Uh, and if they're able to deliver to your doorstep and all that, and how much they're charging for it, if they accept your health insurance. So all those, those, those things we tend to find out for our clients, then we, we sort of tell you that uh, these are the pharmacies that have what you're looking for. These are the prices. Uh, these are the ones that accept your medical aid. Um, so then the, the patient gets to choose where they want to go. And it's usually faster than pounding the pavement and trying to find that pharmacy yourself. Yeah. So, yeah. That's awesome. 